The fish were very active at this time, and Wayne suggested I try a dry fly. I eagerly tied on an orange bomber. The fly was purposely dragged across the surface of the water, causing a wake to form behind it. This seemed to excite the fish and resulted in many vicious strikes. Got it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely fantastic. Brook trout, large brook trout like this on dry flies. He's not going to be ready. He's going to go for a run. I know it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got the bomber in his mouth. And I think, you know what we got? I think we got a tag fish. Oop, oop, oop. Okay, I'll lead him to you, Wayne. Yes, sir. Tag fish. Tag Beautiful fish. Beautiful big male. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Not quite and as big as that first one, but boy, 22 oh boy. inches, six and a quarter male. And we'll find the number and we'll compare 38.62. Here's our tag. What a fish. What a fish. Now, I'm going to start off. We're seeing some rising fish here. And Wayne told me to start with a bomber. I just had a rise right here. To me, a bomber is an Atlantic salmon uh, fly, but he says it works very well on the brook trout. Well, I'm going to find out. Now, we work them a little bit differently than you do on a, on a stream where you want a dead drift. Here, we're going to actually re retrieve them in and try to make a little wake on the water and see what happens. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. Not as big as the other ones. Actually, this compared to the other ones is quite tiny. Two and a half pounds, maybe. Still a beautiful fish, though. Lovely. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe and you can get all our weekly uploads.